opening. Welcome to prayers that light our path this morning. You know, I, as I was reading last night my Bible verses, studying, I couldn't help but be just overwhelmed at sometimes how complex this thing of religion seems. From the complexity of how this this old body was made to the complexity of how the world was created to the complexity of all the thousands of different species of animals and plants and all those things it just seems so complex so overwhelming but you know then as I read on in the stories that I was reading last night it really is comes to the bottom to the to it just is pretty simple really it's pretty simple that in order for me to be saved as a as a Christian as a child of God I just have to accept it I just have to believe it I just have to ask for it I just have to practice it but there's a verse in Isaiah 61 10 that says I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall be joyful in my God. For he hath clothed me with garments of salvation. He hath covered me with the robe of righteousness. As a bridegroom decketh himself with ornaments. I'm so grateful uh, for the opportunity to be able to, to be a Christian to believe in God, to believe and to have the faith and the hope and the, the joy and the strength that comes through being a Christian. There are many people who miss out on that. And I'm hoping that throughout something in my life, I will, if I do nothing else, but will share that joy and, and convince at least one person in my life that there is great satisfaction in knowing Jesus Christ as my Savior, as their Savior. There is great peace in knowing that I have a God who, who loves me enough to send His Son to die for me so that I could have freedom from persecution. I could have the gift of eternal life, the gift of grace, the gift of mercy, and the gift of being able to carry the Holy Spirit with me everywhere I go. You know, it's such a wonderful blessing. There's such comfort in that. And my life is decorated really like a Christmas tree. There is beauty all around. The ornaments that, that I have as a result of being a child of God is just more than I could ever have imagined. Go with me this morning in prayer. Father, I see the wonders of your creation <clears throat> in all of its complexity, and I bow before you in humble adoration. When I study the world that you have created, I can't help but admire how the complex parts of that world work together and they become a, just one, they become a whole. When I read the Bible and I study your word, it's, it's at first a real complex story that seemingly is hard to understand and that story just spans the ages. But then I see your guiding hand behind the events that brought Jesus into this world. And I see how his death and how his resurrection gave salvation to me and to all of those who simply accept you by faith. I admire and honor you for giving me this simple salvation plan. One that I can understand and I can understand completely. Father, I thank you for the opportunity to be able to give myself to you. And I 
thank you so much for the assurance that you have made of my eternal life, my eternal salvation. I thank you for the joy and the peace and the happiness that you bring into my life. Lord, I, I pray this for every person in this world, that they can know that peace and joy and that happiness of knowing you as their Savior. Father, this is my prayer this morning. I love you, and in your name I pray. Amen. Remember, what seems complex really is extremely simple. You just have to believe. You just have to have faith. You have to give your life to Jesus Christ. You have to read the Bible. You have to live by those words. And if you do, you will always have the promise of eternal salvation. You'll always have joy and happiness and peace and strength to be able to transcend whatever may happen in our world. Always remember, God loves you. I love you. And the people of the United Methodist Church love you. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day.